Today I'll be showing you how to extract PDF data into a spreadsheet using a software called Lido. In my example, I'll be showing two different scenarios of different PDF files, and we're going to show how we can use this app to extract data from those PDF files and then import that data into Excel. Let me show you my two PDF files. The first one is an inventory sheet, which as you can see is a simple PDF file with various inventory data, including their quantity in stock and the reorder level. And the second uh, PDF file is various invoices. It has three invoices and we're gonna be uploading these onto Lido and then extracting all the data from the invoice and then importing it into Excel as well. So let me show you how to get started. The first thing we'll do, we're gonna go ahead and search up Lido.app. Now this is a OCR tool which means it performs optical character recognition. And so it can recognize uh, various text from various files and extract the data from it. Now, I already have an account with Lido, so I'm simply gonna go ahead and sign in. And I'm gonna go ahead and select new file. Now, before I hit extract data, let me show you once again my first PDF. So as you can see, this PDF has inventory data, inventory ID, the name, my selling price, my cost, and then my stock information right over here. And it has just about 20 rows of data in a PDF form. So let's go ahead and let's go to extract data and we can either click and upload it or we can simply go ahead and drag it. So it had six columns of data. So as you can see, now we have this uh, table come up and it shows us the first part is the sheet that we've uploaded. The second part is the columns. So it has automatically identified the six columns, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we can add new columns if we want to. For now, I won't. And we can also give it extra instructions if we need to. In my case right now, I won't be giving it any extra instructions. However, uh, later on, I'll be showing you how to use this tool as well. This is totally optional, by the way. We don't need to give it any instructions if we don't want to. So now that I've done that, I'll simply go ahead, process the files. And if I close the table, as you can see, we have the data that has been extracted into a spreadsheet format. And here is our original PDF file with 20 rows and now it's as a spreadsheet format. Now we can go ahead and export this onto QuickBooks, Google Sheets, Excel, or whatever other software that you wish. Now, let's say that we wanna do some work before we export this into Excel, for example. Let's say that I want to determine if an item needs to be reordered. So if the quantity in stock is less than the reorder level, I wanna go ahead and place another order. So there are two ways I can do this. I can either go back and insert special instructions that tell me that if a quantity in stock is less than the reorder level, place an order, or I can simply use a formula. So let's go ahead and let's use a formula within this tool and let's do it right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down equals to if the quantity in stock is less than or equal to the reorder level, then insert a yes, otherwise keep it blank, and I'll press enter. This is a simple if function that we use in Excel as well. And in the column header, I'll write down place order, question mark. Now I'll go ahead and drag down this formula uh, throughout the remaining table. And there we go. So now we can see that there are some units, some items that are running low in stock. So as you can see, this mechanical key uh, we needed to place an order at quantity level 20 and right now there's only 12 in stock but we haven't placed an order yet. Or this office chair for example, uh, reorder level is 10 and we're at 10 right now so we need to place another order. Now I can simply go ahead and extract this data to QuickBooks, Excel or wherever I want to extract it. This tool can even handle scanned, messy and handwritten documents as well. In my next example, I'll be showing you how to import invoices and extract data from those invoices. So let's go ahead and let's add another sheet, extract data, and this time I'm gonna be using invoices and extracting data from these invoices. So now these invoices are all being billed 
to the same customer, Tech Nova Solutions, but they're being billed by different companies, as you can see. And all invoices, of course, have different invoice number, dates, uh, items, and invoice amounts as well. We want to aggregate and consolidate all of this information into one spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and let's do that using Lido. I'm going to simply go into extract data and I'll drag down my PDF file, which had three uh, individual invoices. And if I look at it, I can see that I want to extract a few things. Of course, the item name, the quantity, the prices, the invoice date, all of that. But let's see what Lido tells us right now. It gives us the invoice number, date, due date, and then the item information. So it's extracting the invoice number from here and then the dates from here. And let's see what it does now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna write anything in the extra instructions for now. I'll leave that as is and I'll click on process files. Let's see what it does. So it extracted um, six items and we had invoices that came to about six items because two individual uh, units per invoice and as you can see it extracted all the data like so now there are some other things i want to do as well i want to find out which vendors are sending these invoices so as you can see each invoice is supplied or sent to us by a different vendor so i want to actually find out which vendor is giving me the invoices and insert them in a new column as well so in order to do that, I'm going to go back, new sheet, extract data, and I'll go ahead and drag the table down once again, drag the invoice down. This time what I'll do is I will add another column and I'll call it issuing company. I want the program to extract the issuing company from the invoice title because each invoice title is the issuing company and I want to return it as a different column header. So I'm simply going to write down extract the issuing company from the invoice title and I'll go back to process files. And once I close this, now I can see the issuing company of all invoices as well. And similarly, the invoices also had the email of the issuing company. So if I wanted, I could also extract the email of the issuing company as well. So let's try and let's do that as well. And as you can see, this time it also extracted the emails of the companies as well so what i did was when i went to extract data i added another field in the columns that says email and i wrote down extract the email from the invoice header and as you can see each invoice header has the email of the company so this way i was able to extract the emails as well so that's how we can use lido to extract data that can be messy handwritten in multiple pages, whatever it may be, but we can easily extract it from any PDF and convert it to Excel, QuickBooks, Google Sheets, or any file instantly. Now, just to clarify, this video is not sponsored by Lido. However, I will be leaving my affiliate link down below so you can check them out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you shortly on the next video.